In order to add the new subform to the main form, we go into the design of the main form, form customers. So at the database window, right click on form customers and select design view. And that will take us into design view of the main form. And I'll just scroll up and create a bit of space. Just grab the edge of the mouse and drag it down. Go back to the database window now and click the mouse and hold it down on the new subform and just drag it to the main form and let go of the mouse button. Okay, and that's our new subform now on the main form. If we click on the label here and then right click, we cut the label off. We don't actually need that at the moment. And now just click on the top edge of the subform and you will see these little highlighters. I've put around the sides. Um, we want to just grab the one at the top left here. So move your mouse, hover your mouse over that so it turns into a hand pointer. We'll do that again. A little hand pointer there. Press the mouse button down on the hand pointer and then just drag the form into a better position. So somewhere sort of positioned underneath the main form. Let go of the mouse. And we can also extend it down, get the double arrow and just drag it down. Do the same on the sides, just drag it to the right a bit here. And now we can just run this form just to have a look at it. So now we have our, our main form with our subform. Um, there's one more thing we need to do though, we need to link these two forms together. So if we right click on the main form, go back to design and we want to bring up the properties of the subform. So just click on it here and then just click the top edge so you can get the properties. The ones we're interested in are the link child fields and the link master fields properties. Um, basically we want to put customer ID in there because that's what it, what's going to be linking the two forms together, our primary and foreign keys from our customers and orders table. So the link child field is the subform. We can also, a quicker way, if I just take that out, click this little button here on the side. And what that will do is it will actually show us which IDs Access wants to link by. And it's found customer ID for the master and child fields, the main subform. So we click OK there, that's fine. And we can see it's put the values in here for link child and link master. So we close that. So all we have to do now is run the form.